Hello and welcome back to the episode of Planet Zoo versus a student or student versus Planet Zoo. Oh my days, Sam, say your title right. Um, so what you're going to do is help me. No, you know, and guess what? It's, it's been recorded, so you can't help me. For some reason, it won't replace glass with replace a section with glass. Does this mean? Do I have to delete it? Delete it? Why you do this then? Oh, okay. It's a different. Is that not glass as well? Wow. Ah, <laughs> uh, okay. Because it makes them happy, and because this would be a pretty terrible zoo if they couldn't. The last thing we need to do is to add a donation box. You see, when guests enjoy the view of an animal, they'll make a donation. Just make sure you put them in easy to reach places like near a viewing point. Donation boxes are one of the main sources of income for the zoo, so make sure okay. you remember them. Mm, donation boxes and facilities, and then we'll put donation box uh, here. As well as pausing the game, you can speed the game up by clicking on the fast forward button. It'll run everything at two times and five times faster. It can be useful, especially if you're waiting for money uh, to accumulate or for animals to be delivered to your habitat. I don't know if this is ever going to get any money now because we've got so much glass, so the AI probably still thinks. So it's high time you adopted those offices, don't you think? Let's get four of them in here. Um, facility, no, animal trading, and then we go to trade, and then we go adopt, and then we go adopt. I wish I could select all of them. Adopt and then go to animal storage, and now we can select all of them and send them to. While we wait Beautiful. for them to be collected by the caretakers and brought to the habitat, we got some dinosaurs. Ready for them. Add a suitable feeding station. So, if you're new to the series, we complete. Well, I completely can't. I can't blame that tr um, tra tra catastrophe on you guys and girls and gentlemen and everybody. But I, I, I completely failed in the last one, and we had wolves running rampant. So just as I cut off the video. So in this one, we're doing the actual um, story mode, the career mode, just because it's one going to let me at least have an experience of the game because I've had this game for ages, but I wanted to record it because it's a really nice and beautiful game. Why is it not playing? Um, out of oh, good job it, it isn't playing then, you know. Oh, wait, what? Okay. I guess something's looking after me. <laughs> um, right, so I need to put a feeder. I guess I'll put the feeder near there. And then I'll put a... F that was not a feeder. Was that a feeder? No, it wasn't a feeder. This is a feeder. And then I'll put another feed. i put the water feeder and the feeder there. And then we'll put a, an enrichment thing. That's what it's asking for. So it's, I guess another feeder. Lol. We did it. We absolutely oh, terrible. See the ostriches have somewhere they can Oh wait, bronze objectives completed. Oh, okay. They can actually run at 43 miles per hour? Oh, oh, heaven forbid they ever escape. <laughs> the speed camera finds alone would bankrupt us. So next we need to build a keeper hut. We know how to do that. Well, so Bernie guests. Um, Could you do a speed information? No. We've got a lot of staff, so it is keeper hut. <coughs> cut for the calf, sorry. Well, not really cut, I'll just merge it out and it say don't smoke. So don't smoke, guys, <laughs> everybody. Why is that? Okay. To make sure the keepers don't waste their time walking when they should be looking after the animals. You'll need to rotate the keeper hut to get it to connect um, up to the path. Let's just advanced rotate because that's kind of really annoying. Okay, why, 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 why? There we go. That'll do. Outside of the plate. Ah, uh, there we go. I placed one. Right. Objectives. How are the keeper? Oh, we've the not got enough. Hut can allow multiple keepers to prepare food at the same time. Oh. But um, bear so in mind is. that keeper huts and other staff facilities Required should be placed power. near to areas where there are lots of guests. Guests don't like seeing facility buildings and it can affect their happiness. 
negatively. <laughs> oh, okay. Wow. Well, shush. Just let me. The door, facilities, shops, and a whole host of other objects. <coughs> Don't smoke, please. <laughs> oh, why is this being silly, bruh? Can I do that? There we go. That's nice. Allows you to see what is and what isn't powered in your zoo. Give me the. Place your transformer. You can click in the bottom left to turn the heat map off. What do you mean invalid rotation, man? Lovely word. Finally. Now the people can start using the hat. Oh, this woman. Thanks to where you put it, they will need to walk very far to deliver it to the ostriches and hippos. Let's get on to your next objective then. Bengal tigers. Woo! Well, finally, we're getting to see more animals. Something interesting, yet. beautiful. Head on over to the plot of land I've marked. See how quick we got there. Oh, water! We need water. Right okay. See, your next job uh, is nectar. From scratch. <laughs> oh. And concrete and glass, I expect. So go ahead and build it. Just make sure that the habitat includes that big hole we dug. Oh, and don't forget to add the habitat gate to the barrier. Oh. And make sure the guests will be able to see the tigers. Why? How is that a vital part? Uh, you didn't. <laughs> How much do you want them to see? Because we the last time we had to get every single little bit of sight for you to then realise that we had glass, but you didn't realise we had glass. Um. So I get. How do I? Is that all of it? There we go. A bit higher for the tigers. Nope. That was so accidental thing. Um, now we want to do this and then turn that into glass. Oh, well, actually, undo that. We want, because they're diggers, um, we, we want to have some one-sided glass, I think. Uh, wrong way. Can you turn the way around? One way, that way. And then we can add some nature water. Is this how we do water? I've so forgotten how to do what? Connect habitat. Oh, I need to do the um, barrier. Um, there we go. Now, Bernie takes safety very need? seriously at his zoos, so we should probably make sure those tigers can't jump out of their habitat, don't you think? Well, that was why they were the tall. Way we'll do it? Is by changing uh, the height of uh, the habitat um, barrier. Uh, okay, what? You, you, you want to make, sure, make sure, but what is that? This will take you into barrier editing mode. <laughs> they can't escape now. I'm gonna be so confused. Now highlight the entire perimeter of the habitat. You can do that by clicking and dragging just, the barrier selection tool. I just did this. Now you've got all of the perimeter selected. You can I increase just... the height of it by clicking and well, dragging the barrier height <laughs> tool upwards. <laughs> Uh, what is this meters. tutorial? <laughs> oh my god. Place, don't forget to put down a donation box near to your viewing areas. We need every dollar we can get. <laughs> Especially as these tigers aren't exactly eating instant noodles for lunch. Okay, that's the habitat boundary. Right, complete. adopt some the Bengals. Gates in place, and most importantly, the tigers won't be able to jump out of it anymore. I think it's time we adopted those tigers. There we go. Now that our trusty caretakers collect and deliver the tigers, let's take a look at preparing the habitat for their arrival. We'll start with the basics. Add a suitable feeding station for them. Oh, yep. Um, do that there. This time, instead of adding a water bowl, let's try something different. Some animals need a pool in their habitat so okay. they can go for a swim, but they can also use it to drink from. All you have to do is make sure the banks of the pool have a gentle slope so they can easily get a nice, refreshing drink. There's already a pool excavated, oh, but you there. still need to fill it with water. You should do that Good. by going into Terrain Don't. and selecting the Water Tool. Yes, that'll do nicely. Of course, just like the warthogs and ostriches, these tigers will also need some enrichment. Why don't you add some suitable right, food enrichment need. items into their habitat? Let's do it all where they can be. Oh, there's more glass. I need to get rid of that glass. Edit barrier. Oh. Well, that's 
great, isn't it? Um, ha. Huh. What? Um, ah, this, this, this tutorial is making the game seem a lot weirder than it actually is. What? Okay, I, I give up. I honestly give up. Um, let's, let's make it so the tigers can see the guests, but the guests can't see the tigers. Yep. 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 Um, nature, so I need to add... Oh, I need to add enrichment. No, I didn't even add enrichment. I need to add toy enrichment now. Have a scratching post, I guess. Okay, it's yeah. really starting to take shape. Then increase now, terrain. The welcome. tigers will need a shelter in their habitat so they can hide from the guests. Oh, they're so about more likely the bad weather. Although, so given that we're in England, nope. you might want to think of that just as normal weather. <laughs> there we go. Go on, add a shelter to their habitat. You can either build one from various suitable bits and bobs, or if you like, just pop down the blueprint that I've already built for you. There you go, I've done that, and then increase terrain welfare. So then we need to go into. I just did it! Don't you dare tell me. Ah, this, this. <coughs> Up there. Are you okay? Increase hard shelter. Is it not? Huh? What be happening? Add a feeding station. I've added added that. Why is it not doing it? Oh. Is it not hard sheltered enough? Are you okay? We. There we go. Stay there. Can someone deliver these? Uh. Oh my gosh. Oh. Ugh. Oh my. What is going on, man? <laughs> Let me do it. Just come and go deliver these goddamn tigers with them happy faces on while I'm actually getting annoyed at you. I'm going to I wish I could ha ha sack these people. Running so hot. Look at that gap. Are they actually going to let go of the tigers? Well, there's a gap in there. Well, welcome, welcome to virtual. <laughs> what? <laughs> Why is it all breaking? Um, right now then. Can oh, I? Oh, poor Dabs. Coverage. I'm sure it can't have escaped your attention that the tigers look a bit miffed. That's because they aren't too keen on the type of terrain in their Dem habitat. Dem Select a tiger and bring up its information panel. Environment. Precio, click on the grass. terrain tab. That way you can view the terrain information and see how they feel there about the different types of terrain. I mean, grass is That'll long tell you what type. the tigers need more of or less of in this oh, habitat. Oh, they've got too much long. Then they need soil. Okay then, open the terrain editing tool, select painting, and give them some more soil. Yes, that should help with the habitat part of their welfare. Beautiful. We did it. Beautiful. They say the good fences make good neighbors. I guess that's doubly true when one of the neighbors is a Bengal tiger. <laughs> Still, those tigers look so happy that I doubt they'd leave. Even if you did poke a hole in their fence. <laughs> oh, but for heaven's sake, don't test that theory. Right, let's head over to the Indian peafowls. I've been told that we need to improve their social Right, welfare. so that's it for that episode, everybody. We've um, just about to hit the time on the clock. We've got 40 seconds on the clock, so that means we've had roughly around a 15-minute episode for short and sweet. And I will see you all in the next episode. Peace out. Yeah, yeah, I'm different Nah, I don't fit their system So with the match class, that, that's a fact Never backtrack, ADD's my life hack Addicted to spitting rap, angels on my back Triple one, triple one, telling me to carry on What's the male, the evil one, without him we'd be known